In today's tutorial, we're going to be creating our own scene and adding it to Platformer Project. This is by request from a previous viewer. It's actually pretty simple. It's a lot of drag and drop, but uh, we're going to do this completely from scratch. First of all, you need to install Platformer Project. That's the only thing I have installed in the scene. You won't need anything else. And then let's go ahead and go to File, Create a New Scene. Doesn't matter if it's basic or empty. It's up to your choice. And let's go ahead and create. So now we have a scene with nothing in it, okay? Um, Let's go ahead and save this scene with a name so we know what it is. So let's say scene two. The reason we're calling it scene two is because we're gonna make this, uh, I'm putting it in the scene folder. We're gonna make this the second scene for the default scene that's in the player two example. Now, to make this scene work, we're gonna have to add a few things to it. So if you open the player two and you go into prefabs, uh, you're gonna see that they're all filtered out into separate categories. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into global because we wanna be able to communicate with the other levels and we're gonna drag a few things in here. So first of all, uh, we can go ahead and delete this main camera because we don't need it. Let's drag in the camera prefab, which already has a main camera built into it. Uh, let's gra drag in the game prefab and let's grab in the level. Now, just so you know, these prefabs are being used in the other example levels. So if you save something, if you save this prefab, um, it will override all of the levels. And that's what we want to do in this time. But if you're going to be making a new game from scratch, you would make uh, duplicates of these for your own game and make sure that those specific prefabs are going to be in your levels. And that'll make sense in a second. So now you have your three prefabs in here, but now you need a character. This, this uh, tutorial is not about building the character, so I'm just going to grab Lily, who's already here, and put her in the scene. But Lily, if she's here by herself, when we hit play, she's going to fall to her death. So let's go ahead and add a floor, or a 3D plane, and let's make that 0, 0, 0. And then we just need to bring Lily up a little bit because I think she, yeah, she's just below the floor a little bit. So let's bring her up. There she is. So if we hit play, she's not going to fall through the floor. Um, nothing specific is going to happen. This, this is our amazing scene, right? So here's Lily. She works, and, and that's just about it. But how do we get this to load through the menus um, and be connected to the other scenes that we have? And that's where this comes in. So if we go into the game um, prefab, the, one of the scripts is called game. And then down here, it says levels. It has a list of levels. So what we want to do is we want to put two, because we have two levels. Don't forget to put the scene into the build settings so it can be found. And then here it needs to be exactly the same as it is in the build settings. And then here this can be whatever you want the title of the scene to be. So we'll just say it's scene two. And then you can change the description or the image of the actual scene um, if you want here. But we're not going to do that in this case. Okay, so now it's all here. But how do we make this information work with all the other ones? Well, because they're all using this same prefab, but we can go ahead and we can override this. So apply all. So that means that every one of these scenes now, uh, every one of these default, or uh, sorry, every one of these example scenes now should have this information. So let's go ahead and go into another scene and let's see if it does. Boom, there it is. So in theory, if we go to our title scene and we hit play, we should be able to find our level. Hit a button. You can see I have a couple scenes here. We'll just create a new one so that you can see that it's not previously saved. And there is our new level. We'll hit play. And there she is. It's that simple. If you have any requests for future tutorials or you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I answer everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. And I will talk to you next time.